Lord be with you. In many ways, it's so sad that we've had to resort again to an online service when so many of us would have gathered in these beautiful churches to celebrate Christmas. Thank you to everybody who's contributed to this online service with messages of hope or Bible readings or with prayers. The Bishop of Oxford said several months ago that we should look to Easter as a time when the measures put in place to control the spread of this terrible virus might finally be relaxed. I'm sure we're all looking forward so much to that time. But we begin this online service with a traditional bidding prayer. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas Eve, our care and delight, prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience and the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make these churches glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and fellowship within the church he came to build, and especially within the dominions of our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth. And because this of all things would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold and the hungry, the oppressed, the sick in body and mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God for those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we for evermore are one. These prayers and praises we humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, well, 2020, nearly over, hasn't been the year we all expected it to be. It's been wonderful for the shop, it's been lovely to see new and old customers. We just want to wish you all a very, very happy Christmas and here's looking to 2021. The reading is from the ninth chapter of Isaiah. The prophet foretells the coming of the Saviour. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them have the light shined for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it 
and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even for ever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. The reading is from the 11th chapter of Isaiah as follows. The peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, 
and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity the meek of the earth. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall feed them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And a sucking child shall pay on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. Hi there. On behalf of the Parish Council, I'd like to wish all residents a happy Christmas and a less worrying and more liberated New Year. The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. And the, the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
Saint Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. On behalf of Leafield Parish Council, I'd like to wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas 
and a happy new year. Stay safe, happy and well, and let's hope that 2021 is a better one. Cheers. The shepherds go to the manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
Anderson Parish Council, Clive, Holly, Tony, Sue, John and I, we would like to wish everyone the best possible Christmas and a healthy, happy 2021. It's been a challenging year and there are yet more challenges ahead. However, be assured your Parish Council will continue to work hard in the interests of the community. You should always feel free to contact us with your concerns. Happy Christmas, everyone. A reading from St. Matthew's Gospel. The wise men are led by a star to Jesus. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born of the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, and not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, it, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down, and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God.
St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, who was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God, and the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and he beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. When I say, Lord, in your mercy, would you reply, hear our prayer? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord Jesus, you were born in a stable when there was no room in the inn. Give courage to all who are homeless and the people who feel unloved. Let us be generous in our giving to charities that try to help the poor and needy. We especially thank you for crisis and the Salvation Army, the food banks and the hall who run them not forgetting those who give either food or money to the cause. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, who fled into Egypt as a refugee, please give relief to refugees and give them a safe haven. May governments strive for peace in the troubled parts of the world. We thank you for the agencies that work constantly to mediate, to bring the world peace we all crave. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, as you healed the sick, bring healing to those in our families who are ill today, those who are anxious, depressed or lonely, we particularly think of all who are in hospital or suffering at home with the COVID virus. We thank you for our doctors and nurses who care for the sick. We thank you too, Lord, that scientists have made a vaccine that will hopefully keep the vulnerable and in time everyone in your world free from danger of contracting this silent killer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The kings brought gold, frankincense and myrrh. Lord, we have nothing to give you except ourselves. Accept the hearts of all who worship you tonight with the love that you have shown us by sending your only son to take away our sin. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And Father, bless all whom we have loved but see no longer. Those who have brought us to God in their life on earth. Bless all who are bereaved and bring the knowledge of your comfort and the eternal life their loved ones now experience. Lord, hear our prayers and make us one in heart and mind to serve with joy forever. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas from the boys at Diesel Automotive. Merry Christmas! <laughs> mm. 
And so may Almighty God bless you with his grace. Christ, give you the joys of everlasting life. And under the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen.